Squash is one of the most physically demanding of all sports. Go, 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 go! Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchWizard.com, and today we're learning how the pros train to stay fit. I read that squash players are some of the healthiest athletes. You're definitely using the body to its maximum. I mean, you're looking at being very strong. You're looking at having great flexibility because you have to reach and lunge for balls. You're looking at having great speed because it's a sport of reaction. It's fast reaction. So you've got to be able to move fast from one spot to the next on the court. But at the same time, we're looking at a long match. It's not something that'll last for 10 minutes and it's over. We're looking at sometimes 40 minutes, 50 minutes, even an hour. They have to have the complete package in terms of fitness. So how do you train them then to have this complete package? We have to start really slow because now we're in the off season. For them, for them what's important for the first couple of weeks of off season is they need to develop a solid base. So we're doing a lot of aerobic fitness at the beginning, which is basically when you're doing an activity for longer than two minutes. Then after those first couple of weeks, we're looking into getting very specific. They need an anaerobic basis when you're doing an activity at maximum effort for less than two minutes. So they use both energy systems. So when we get past the base phase, then we're looking at really working on a blend of both systems. They have to be able to sustain a maximum effort for a short period of time, recover, and then start again. And that's just their aerobic conditioning. We also want to make sure that m with the musculature of the body that they're very strong. So we're looking at strengthening very specific parts of the body and also taking into consideration flexibility because we want them to get strong, but we don't want them to be inflexible. So we also have to work on the flexibility as well. Now you need accuracy, speed, and power to succeed. How are you training for these skills? Me being a bigger guy, um, I'm. I don't have to work that much in the power department. I have to work on my cardio a lot more because I'm, I'm heavier and bigger than most of the guys. So if you want to work on anaerobics, you can be doing uh, track work like 100, 200 meter sprints um, with very low rest times to kind of mimic a squash rally or a squash game. And then um, long distance running, it can be like 45 minutes to an hour. For me personally, to keep the weight down or just to recover after a hard training session is nice too. Now let's say someone wants to use squash as a workout. What kind of muscles are they going to develop? It's very lower half demanding squash. A lot of lunging, a lot of uh, quick feet. So you develop like the quads, the hamstrings, and uh, and your butt gets a, gets a great workout. Yeah, I heard it's called the squash butt. Squash butt, yeah. You feel fine the day that you're playing, and then you wake up in the morning and you, you, you get up and you're okay, and then you try and bend down and pick up a sock or something like that, and it's just like your, your butt feels like it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna fall off. Now, what is it that you love about this sport? It's such a unique sport. Like I said, there's so many components to it. There's so many ways of going about it. Like, there's so many different styles of players. You have a racket and a ball, and you get on court. In 20 minutes, you can have a, a great, great, great workout. Well, thank you very much. Thanks so much.